Today we're talking all the nitty gritty about these green stock vertical planters. Although these planters are expensive, they can range from 129 to 189, they also have a lot of sales. So I got mine during their Valentine's Day sale and I think it was just under 100 bucks for a planter that's normally $189. I know they have sales for Mother's Day and Labor Day. The model I purchased is the seven tier leaf planter. So the leaf one is shallower. And so that way you can fit to more planting pockets in one unit. The original is a little deeper and can accommodate tomatoes and things that need a little more root space to grow. And they come in different finishes. I got the Sunning Stone, they also Kata and an evergreen color. And you can play around with the configuration and match up leaf depth ones with original depth ones and create your own combination and size of things. I found the shipping and arrival of the product to go really well. With your order, they include a little planter guide with instructions on how to plant it, how to use it, how to water it, and also what kinds of things you can plant in the pockets and how many plants per pocket. Like they recommend one plant for bigger things like cauliflower, cabbage, squash, strawberries, tomatoes, and then smaller things you can manage to fit three in a pocket, such as bush beans, carrots, spinach. So it's a very easy to use, aesthetically pleasing, um, user-friendly guide. My order also came with a free packet of seeds, some basil seeds. And I think for free, I was able to add a birthday card to it. And so it's a hand-drawn, painted it with watercolors. It's really cute and personalized. And then they also included three free stickers. They are adorable, ones of chives, carrots, and ones of the green stock itself and they're just really cute and I was really pleased with the packaging and everything arrived perfectly intact uh, with clear instructions on how to use. So a big question I think a lot of people have is, is it stable? So I have my planter set up on a raised deck and we do have neighbors who kind of block the wind a little bit. It's fairly exposed and it's seven layers tall and I've had zero problems. It's felt really st stable and sturdy. Once you pack all that soil in there and the plants, everything really weighs it down, especially once you water it. You go in and water it and the soil holds onto that moisture. It's really not going anywhere. But at the same token, it's also movable. I have not tried the base that they come with, with the wheels. I may look into that and it's something you'll want to do if you're planning on moving it regularly, like on a daily basis. I, however, am just rotating it every Thursday to kind of distribute the light requirements or conditions on the plants. And I'm able to do that okay. It's heavy and hard, but I'm able to rotate it without any damage or problems. When it comes to watering the green stock, it's really easy to just drag your hose over and fill up the reservoir on top of the unit. I wanna mention, however, to not just rely on filling it to the line that's designated in there because that's not always sufficient. I went through a little stretch in the summer where I was struggling with my plants, on the bottom especially with the soil drying out, and I realized I wasn't making sure that I was thoroughly watering to the extent that water was pouring out the bottom of the planter. That's kind of the only way to guarantee that you have thoroughly watered and saturated the entire container. So you may need to fill up the reservoir more than once. And once you hear or see water trickling out the bottom, then you can stop and you know that the whole thing is fully saturated. So as long as you're doing that, you shouldn't have an issue with watering. You can just test the soil with your fingers and if it's feeling like it's drying out, then you'll wanna water again. And I have to say that was the biggest problem I had with these green stalks was just my user error of not watering them till it drained out the bottom. So in the instructions it does tell you to plant your plants before you stack up all the layers and this is smart because <laughs> If you're not doing that way, or if halfway through the season you're switching out some plants, like for me, my spinach bolted and I wanted to replace it with something, it's probably best to take it apart at that point to change them out. You can do it while it's set up, and I did do it that way. However, there's such a small point of access, the little pockets at the top, that it's messy and it's hard to 
gently plant new plants in there. Also, I had a couple plants with a pretty large, extensive root structure and a big root ball, and those were a challenge to get in that little pocket. So I ended up having to break up the root ball to kind of force it in, and it worked, but it's better if you can take off the top and, and work with it open so you have full access to the soil and everything. Uh, I kind of mentioned this already, but moving the planter. It's definitely doable. One thing I want to note is to do it before you water because it's going to be much heavier once you've watered it. And then also, like I said, I've been able to slide it with some pressure and I haven't damaged it at all. However, I just turn it. I don't fully move it. If you're going to move it to a different spot, I definitely recommend the base with the wheels that it comes with. The frost protection sheet that I ordered, it's a separate purchase. It's only $59. I was really happy with how easy it is to use. Very simple. There's a well working zipper so you just kind of pull it over and zip it. You can have two people do it to kind of be as gentle with the plants as you can. However, you can do it with one person. Just pop it on, zip it up. It works really well. It stays in place and I used it a lot in the spring when we had a few cold snaps and my plants were totally safe and I'm excited to use it again in the fall to kind of extend my season a little bit. So overall I've been really happy with my green stock. I've loved being able to use it. It's really easy to access and user friendly. Nice to be able to access just right off the porch. Putting herbs in it is wonderful since it's kind of near the kitchen. I can grab what I need. I've done basil and rosemary. I planted um, spinach and then swiss chard and arugula. Lots of strawberries, a couple of zinnias, a non-spicy jalapeno and I'm excited to plant it again next year. I think it's going to hold up really well year after year and overall it, it is an expensive product but it's good quality and it really opens up gardening to people of different abilities and living situations. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!